is currently 7 30 o'clock and i am going to the gym despite the fact that i only got four hours of sleep last night because you know gotta stay fit my mom and my dad are already there i don't know how they have so much energy but yeah let me show you the view My sister is still sleeping because she is smart and is not going to the gym. And now we're out here for breakfast. My mom and dad. Look at the view. First thing you pack is tampons, even if you don't know if you're going to get your period or not. I knew I was going to get it, and I still forgot. I don't understand how these crosswalks work. I mean, you have the crosswalk, and I think the sign's over there, like that thing. But I can't even see it. No, no, I'm just going to go for it. Maybe that'll work. Made it to the main part of it. Look how big these roots are. Look at it in comparison to my hand. It's so big. Look at the color of these apples. It's so cool Are these grapes? Yeah, I think so. They look weird. They were like as long as my thumb. Riding the tuk tuk. Vicky's like fit somehow in here. You good there, Vicky? The last not child. even a seat. <laughs> Oh, oh, que coisa yeah. bonita! We're going to Wat Saket now. It's like the Temple of the Golden Mount. It has 300 steps that people climb up, but I'm not sure we're going to make it. Public 
transportation or like the sky train should be the traffic but honestly this is fine it's also a little bit cheaper anyone who says that the traffic in Bangkok is bad has obviously not been to either New York or Sao Paulo I mean I don't know if it's just the time of the day but we've been riding around for like a bunch of places now and this is definitely not as bad as other places that have been <laughs> on the road and we're really tired so we saw this massage place and we just hopped on it it's like ten dollars per person for a massage so i mean can't say yeah ten dollars so you can't say no you know so this is the place where we got our uh, massage we just kind of like randomly selected it now that we're here in Khao San Road it was so good they literally like bent me over and then like got on top of me like snapped every single little vertebrae of my back I have never felt that before it was an amazing sensation somehow my sister fell asleep next to me when they were doing her feet she just got like really relaxed and stuff <laughs> and I started laughing in the middle of my massage I don't know how she did that because it's like it's pretty painful <laughs> but I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm gonna try eating some scorpion. Yeah, that, are you actually gonna try it? Okay. I am going to try and eat a scorpion. Hashtag rip veganism. But anyways, I got the guy to give me like a really good one. Apparently you just eat the entire thing. Uh, good protein. Yeah. Tastes pretty good actually. It's just like really crunchy and dry. Heidi concerned I'm gonna be poisoned, but it's okay. Just kind of tastes like nuts. Wanna try? <laughs> I'm gonna go for a bite of the tail now. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's just kind of like, you know those nut mixes? The Asian ones? That's what it tastes like. It's just crunchy. It kind of tastes like um, the skin of like the pistachio. The other day, I like accidentally ate it, and that's what it tastes like. This is hard to eat. You can't just like bite it off. This is probably enough. I feel like my dad actually tried eating it. <laughs> what did you think? Hey, chef. It's not that great. We're going to dip some eye, which is supposedly like uh, the best pad thai in all of Bangkok. So I'm pretty excited. They also have fresh squeezed orange juice delivered from the villages each week. So let's see how good that is. Each time we get a tuk tuk driver that drives faster than the other one. So I don't know how fast we're going to be driving by, the, by our last day here. It's three days in Bangkok. <laughs> let's go.
So uh, yeah, this is what it takes to get the best pad thai in Bangkok. It's so busy that they have to make it out here in the open. Look at how high that fire is. So over here it looks like the first stage where he just mixes the noodles with all the ingredients. Here he's making the omelette. The most famous one here has an omelette that covers it on top. Over there he's like separating the fish from the pad thai because uh, they like mix it in for the flavor but see then they put it separately because they just want to put a few in each of them and then over there the guy's plating it for the final stage look at the size of this that's all the orange juice that they have to deliver from the village every week or I mean every day that's me so much money it only goes from 5pm to 2am and then over there, you probably can't see, but there's a sign that says that it's uh, 10 baht for adults, 5 baht for children if you want air conditioned rooms. We've been seated. So here we're going to figure out how you're supposed to order it. There's like this menu. You must be wondering why it took so long in line for Pad Thai. Well, it is Thailand's most famous dish, obviously. As you may know, if you ever go out for Thai, the first thing you think of is, let's have some Pad Thai. The reason is because in the 1930s, Thailand's Prime Minister made it popular as kind of like a way to um, bring the entire country together and inspire nationalism. So, and also to like uh, stimulate the economy. And he also wanted something for like everyone in the world to know Thailand for, and it obviously succeeded because we all know and love Pad Thai. How to go about like opening this up? Ooh, this is different from the one I've had in America. So far, pretty flavorful, but I could only get a little bit. Definitely some of the best noodles. Now let's try the orange juice. Yeah. Nice and fresh. You have the little like pulp here. Are you with pulp or without pulp? I personally like pulp, so this is very good. All right, everyone, thank you so much for those of you who watched the entire thing. I'm sorry that the video quality and maybe sound quality and maybe editing quality and, <laughs> you know, whatever, you get the point. Everything. Sister quality of this first video uh, doesn't disappoint you, but I'm definitely going to try to work on the next ones. Um, for the rest of the night, I'm probably just going to soak here in my toothpaste because I also forgot my acne medication. I'll edit this video and other stuff. Bye, see you tomorrow.